Here are 10 fun summer watches that won't break the bank. Let's begin with number one, Seiko Monster Save the Oceans, reference number SRPG57. If you like Seiko watches, chances are you have some sort of experience with a Seiko Monster. These watches have been around for a very long time. Now, the reason why I chose this specific reference is because of its dial. The dial on this watch just screams summer fun. I'm a big fan of Save the Ocean's line of Seiko watches. Spoiler alert, there will be another Seiko on this list uh, that is Save the Ocean's reference. Maybe guess in the comment section what reference you think that is. It's under $1,000. Coming back to the Seiko Monster though, it has everything that screams summer. As I mentioned, the dial is very unique and looks very cool. The overall size of the watch, it's a little bit larger. It stands out a little bit more on your wrist. The thickness is only 13 and a half millimeters, but the size is 42 and a half. So you have to have a bit of a larger wrist or at least have preference for larger watches. As far as the negatives go, the only real negative that I see with this watch is the bracelet. It's not the best. I mean, Seiko is kind of notorious for cutting costs on their bracelets. If you can put up with that, I think you will be very happy rocking this watch in the summer of 2023. Citizen reference NJ0150. Now, I mentioned this watch actually a couple of times. I did a video about underappreciated or underrated watches right now on the market, and this Citizen was featured on that list, but I think it also really belongs on this list. I try not to um, kind of put the same watches in, in videos one after another because that gets boring, but I just couldn't not put this watch on the list because again, just like the Seiko Monster, it kind of represents everything that you would love about a summer. This watch has a lot of similarities with the Seiko Monster that I just mentioned, but it also has a lot of differences. In terms of similarities, obviously the dial colors. This one is available in a few different dial combinations. I really like the yellow one. I think it really screams um, and it begs for a lot of attention, a lot of wrist time in the summer. Uh, but what's different about this watch, first of all, it has an integrated bracelet. It has the crown at the four, similar to the Seiko. It doesn't have as much water resistance, obviously, because Seiko was a diver watch. Actually, a lot of the watches on this list are diver watches. Uh, this one here only has 50 meters of water resistance. It's more of walking around, uh, maybe going to the winery or something like that. I also really like the fact that it's a 40 millimeter diameter. So if you have a bit of a smaller wrist or if you prefer smaller watches, I think this one here is gonna fit just right. Bulova Oceanographer Special Edition. Now, just like the Monster and just like the Citizen, we can see the pattern here. It has a crazy dial color combination. It also has a bit of a color popping on the bezel. I myself quite like these cushion style cases because even though this is a bigger watch, 44 millimeters, it is sort of similar to a Seiko uh, turtle because it kind of disappears on your wrist. If you try one of these watches on, you will see that it wears smaller. So don't let that 44 millimeter case size deceive you. Now, Bulova, of course, a legendary company with a lot of history. And the reason why I included this watch, it's sort of the counter programming. It's not your standard uh, Seiko. You usually don't think of Bulova diver watches as an option. So that's why I wanted to include and highlight this watch because it has a lot of positives. It has the automatic movement. It has a date at the three o'clock position. A lot of people like dates on their diver watches. It has that rotating bezel. It has 200 meters of water resistance. It has a lot of things that you would want in a watch, but it is something special. Uh, when somebody will see you wearing this watch, they will be asking, what is it? Because even if you are a watch enthusiast, you don't necessarily expect someone to be wearing a watch like this. Invicta Pro Diver Sprite Bezel. Before you start commenting in a comment section, let me explain. I reviewed a Pro Diver version a long time ago on this channel, and actually I'm a big fan of these watches. No, they're not the best watches in the world, but for the money, it's actually very impressive what you get. So you get an automatic movement, you get 200 meters of water resistance. Yes, it's an homage in this case to sort of GMT Master and the Submariner at the same time somehow, 
but it has a lot to offer. If you're okay with that homage aspect of it, you just can't go wrong for $80 on Jama Shop. You can also find them on Amazon, on eBay. They sell these Invictus all over the place. Just make sure you don't pay more than $100 for this watch. So if you're looking for a watch just to take to the beach, to beat it up, to really enjoy, I think this one is perfect. Also it comes on the Jubilee bracelet, which makes it pretty comfortable. The only thing about this specific version of the Pro Diver is that it's a bit larger, it's 42 millimeters, as opposed to the classic 40 millimeters like on other Invicta Pro Divers. But I think as a summer watch, it's just kick ass. And I stand behind my decision to include it on this list. Maybe some people will disagree. Well, it's my video, so Invicta gets a spot. Tissot Siderol S Powermatic 80. A bit of a mouthful and the newest release from all the watches on this list. It is also the most expensive watch on this list. You can find them for around a thousand dollars right now from Tissot directly, but I think give it a few months and they will start popping up on Jama Shop and websites like that for under a thousand dollars for sure because that is the destiny of Tissot watches. What I really love about this watch is just how fun it is and how unique and different it is. First of all, the dial, it's full of color and it is available in a few different color variations. I like this yellow one with the stainless steel slash carbon case. They sort of have the stainless steel case that from my understanding, they kind of wrapped in carbon to give it this unique look. I also like the fact that it's a diver watch so you can take it swimming, you can enjoy it in the pool. I like how unique it is. I like the straight lugs, the crown really protruding without crown lugs. There is a lot to like about this watch. And of course you have that Powermatic 80 movement. It has 80 hours of power reserve. Uh, it's easy to service, uh, just a great all around watch. And I think for around a thousand dollars, yes, it's expensive, but it is really cool, especially as a summer watch. Zelos Hammerhead version three in titanium. So I actually reviewed a version of this watch, I think a version two in stainless steel a while ago, and it was one of my favorite watches. Recently, Zelos hasn't really reached out to send any of their watches for review. Uh, I think they're just busy as is. People are buying these watches as is. So if you are interested in one of these watches, maybe act quickly-ish because they do sell out pretty fast. This one here is priced at $430, and for that amount of money you get, a lot of value. Yes, it's powered by the Seiko NH35, which is, you know, kind of the lower grade movement. But if you don't really care about the movement too much, everything else around this watch is really awesome, especially for a summer watch. It's on a bigger side, 44 millimeters and a 48 millimeter lug to lug distance. So I think you don't need to have a ginormous wrist to wear it. What really helps this watch is the fact that it's made out of titanium. So it's going to be feather light. I love the design of it. I love the color variations. My favorite is this chalk blue. I think Zelos is just miles ahead from everyone else in this price point. So if you are able to buy one of these watches for around $430, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I quite like the design of this watch. And I know that anyone who bought Zelos watches in the past seems to be satisfied. Oris Alter Year Automatic with a blue dial. Now, Initially, I was gonna do this list, including watches under $500, but I actually raised the price point because of this watch. And I'm glad that I did because I also could include watches like the Tissot that I did and a couple of others that are coming up. Um, this one here currently is on sale on Jama Shop for 797 US dollars. In my opinion, that's one hell of a deal. Uh, yes, it's a bit of a dressy timepiece, so it's different to everything else that we've uh, looked at so far, except for maybe the Citizen. I think it's a perfect summer watch if you're looking for something a little bit more dressy, maybe to take it to the office or on your yacht, because you spend all the money on the yacht, your watch budget is limited. Uh, for $800, getting a brand new Oris, well, that's a no-brainer. So this one is powered by the Celita SW200. It's not powered by one of their in-house movements, the Caliber 400 with uh, five days of power reserve. This one here is still powered by the Celita, but there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's a great movement. The size of the watch is also very conservative, 40 millimeters. It's quite thin, under 11 millimeters thick. It comes with a sapphire crystal, a display case back, a pretty nice leather strap. I believe this one is also available on the bracelet. However, on the bracelet, it's quite a bit more expensive. So maybe buy it on the leather strap 
And then if you want to add the bracelet, just buy bracelet aftermarket. I think this one here is a great deal. Maybe not necessarily the best summer watch, but it's just a good solid watch that I wanted to highlight. If you're looking for a dressy watch under $1,000, this is one of the best deals on the market right now. Mido Ocean Star 200C Automatic Diver Watch. All right, so moving from a dressier timepiece back to diver watches, because that's what summer is all about. Going to the swimming pool, going to the lake, to the ocean, to sea, diving, swimming, snorkeling. You can do it all in a watch like this. Now, the reason why I highlighted this one specifically is because of its green dial and green bezel. It just screams summer. It just screams fun. I highlighted a few of these ocean stars on the channel before. I think they're severely underrated under $1,000. You get a solid movement, a solid build quality, great design. And of course, it comes from the Swatch Group. So you get all that heritage, all the backing of Swatch Group behind this timepiece. I think it looks quite a bit like the Omega Seamaster, but it comes at a fraction of a cost of a Seamaster. And with a watch like this, you won't be afraid to take it to the beach to enjoy it versus a Seamaster, even though it can take the abuse. I don't think you necessarily want to abuse that watch too much. Q Timex reissue 38 millimeters. I know some people don't like these watches because they kind of feel cheap and they're kind of light and they have a quartz movement and an acrylic crystal. I mean, for the price, there are better options. No one is arguing with that. Even the Invicta Pro Diver is a better watch on paper than this one here. But there's just something so fun and special about a watch like this because it doesn't really take itself seriously. And the bracelet pulling your hairs out is just part of the experience. The cool part about it is that it's available in some fun colors. You wear a Timex on your wrist and people will always ask you, what the hell is this watch? Because it really does stand out. It looks like an 80s watch that is just brand new. So people will ask if it's new, if it's old, if it's vintage. Uh, there is something about this watch. Uh, it only has 50 meters of water resistance. It has that uh, acrylic crystal. So you won't be able to go swimming with this watch. You won't be able to really beat it up. But if you're just looking for something to take to a dinner in the evening that won't break the budget, that will look kind of fun and different, I think these Timex Q watches are perfect choice. My favorite is this green dial, green bezel version. Seiko Prospects Save the Ocean SPB 297. So another Seiko, another Save the Oceans version. What's up with this watch? Why is it so expensive? Why is it even on this list? Well, even though it's the most expensive watch on the list, I think uh, this and the Tissot are the two most expensive watches on the list. If you buy this one at the retail level, yeah, it's very expensive, but you can find them on eBay. I will leave some links to all of these watches or as many of these watches as I can find. All the links will be in the description below. You can get them on eBay for under a thousand US dollars or just at around a thousand US dollars. Yes, it's expensive for a Seiko, but just look at that dial. I love what Seiko did with Prospects SPB version of their watches. They're all really solid. Uh, they look much more expensive than they are. They're not cheap watches. A thousand dollars is a lot of money, but they feel and look more expensive, especially with this light blue dial. It almost looks like a Grand Seiko dial, like those birch dials. It has texture to it. There is a date at the six o'clock position. I don't really love it, but for a summer watch, I guess it's useful. It also, of course, has 200 meters of water resistance. It's a proper professional spec diver watch, so you can actually take it diving and it will be fine. It has a diver style bezel. It has sapphire crystal. It's not overly big. It's just that perfect combination. Everything you would want in a summer watch and beyond. I'm actually strongly considering adding this watch to my collection because I love it that much. Uh, I think if you have it in your budget, uh, this one is one of the watches to get. I, I love what Seiko did here and I hope they do more of watches like this. I don't agree with their strategy of going with more expensive higher end watches, but once in a while they do a watch like this, they do a watch like that Seiko monster save the oceans and they just kind of redeem themselves. Uh, so this one here is a cool, fun summer watch for sure. And that's it. That's my list of 10 cool, fun summer watches that won't break the bank. I know I missed 
quite a few different watches like the uh, Tissot PRX could make a very strong case for itself on this list. But I mentioned that watch so many times and pretty much everyone who's into watches knows about that watch. I tried to pick watches that maybe are a little bit out of the box. I know that a lot of these are expected to make on the list, but there's just so many watches that are good, that are under a thousand dollars and that have fun dials. So yes, maybe some of these you did expect to be on the list. Uh, but if I didn't include some of the watches, leave them in a the comment section below. I always enjoy reading your comments. By the way, I want to apologize for not really responding to many of your comments in the last few months. It's just been really busy with my day job, but now things have kind of calmed down. So I will be able to upload regularly and respond to as many of your comments as possible. Thanks for watching this video all the way until the end and we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, also like and subscribe uh, if you haven't done it yet. Okay, bye.